Heather, we were just talking about what a gorgeous day it is here at Fairfield Glade. Uh, we have been enjoying this weather and covering Cumberland County, Crossville, and all the surrounding area. One thing about this area, the elevation changes, uh, such as those in the Smokies and in the Cumberland Plateau, can cause big temperature swings and also varying degrees of precipitation. Matt, I know you keep up with that. Absolutely. If you were in Knoxville earlier, rain was coming down, but now we're up to sunshine here across the plateau. So location is so important. And this package, let me should walk you through. We talked to meteorologists at the National Weather Service and here, boots on the ground in Cumberland County. The plateau is just one of the distinct microclimates that make up our area. The flat-topped, rugged terrain can allow summer storms to develop and Arctic winter air to settle in. Terrain changes can often lead to increased opportunities for precipitation. A lot of times behind cold fronts, we get that northwest, uh, the northwesterly winds, and the air is forced up along the higher elevations of the plateau and the mountains. This causes the air to rise, it cools, it condenses, and we get additional rain and sometimes snow. The National Weather Service radars are a key component when determining what form of precipitation is falling. The radars are miles away from the plateau and can only get a good picture of the mid-levels of the atmosphere. The gap between the radar beam and the ground is filled in by weather spotters. Getting that ground truth is vital. We talk about the radar beam overshooting severe thunderstorms and sometimes creating situations where those quick spin-ups are hard to warn for because they're hard to see. Severe storms are no stranger to Cumberland County. Since 1950, the county has seen 24 tornadoes, including a recent EF1 tornado on June 11th, 2023. Being prepared ahead of any impactful weather event can make a difference. Being prepared for an emergency is an individual responsibility, and a lot of times that gets forgotten about, or people will say, oh, well, we've not had that happen in so long, it's not a big deal. The more prepared people have the less impact. that you are staying prepared ahead of impactful weather events. And one thing we have at 6 News, we have the on-the-ground truth from our camera network. So we have a camera right here in Fairfield Glade at our George Chester Golf Course. We also have another camera in Cumberland County over Crossville, right atop City Hall. And look at the camera right now. We have the overcast skies and some rain falling. So dry right now in Fairfield Glade, but we have rain falling in Crossville on the other side of the interstate. So those cameras super vital, especially during rain events. I can tell you there are times looking at the camera when we can see the rain, but the radar can't see it. Here's how the radar is shaping up right now. So we have a couple storms that have fired off across the plateau. We can see stretching also from Jamestown to Ellert. So through Fentress County starting to impact portions of Morgan County. Of course, these downpours have to watch them closely as some locally heavy rainfall will be possible. Also seeing another downpour in the area of Treadway, Friendship, and uh, also approaching McLeod Mountain, another area where we have a camera in that general direction. This is also one other storm we're rolling through, and we continue to watch these ones, not seeing rumbles of thunder with them. So again, these aren't going to be severe storms, but again, locally heavy rainfall, certainly possible as these showers and storms roll through. 81 currently Knoxville, Athens, 82 in Jamestown, 79 though in Newport. Temperatures well below average for this time of year, and we are going to stay below average over the next several days. Comfort cast right now, tropical air mass across the valley. It feels sticky here in Cumberland County. You can feel the humidity now that the sun has come back up and we had some rain earlier, so that's also adding to moisture in the air. 69 is the low in Knoxville, about a 66 here in Crossville. So it is still going to be a mild night and muggy at times. So as we go through the next couple of days, we are going to hold on to rain chances. So tomorrow morning, getting you out the door, cloudy. Watch out for some patchy fog first thing, but then we'll see a few hit or miss showers and storms develop as we head through the afternoon. Notice the morning is still quiet, but as we continue to advance during the late afternoon, hit or miss showers and storms. I think tomorrow is going to feature the least amount of rain that we've seen this entire week. We'll keep storms going right through the afternoon. Here's four o'clock. Now, if we progress as we head into Friday night as well, rain coverage will start to decrease and we continue to lose out on the opportunities for rain going into Friday night. This is exactly what the timeline will look like for Saturday, but let let me show you the seven day forecast. Still a few hit or miss showers and storms as we head towards Saturday, still monitoring that risk for some localized flooding. And notice scattered showers and storms return Sunday and into early next week as well. Temperatures get a little bit warmer though as well. We're back up into the 80s. And with that moisture increase, again, we continue to watch the potential for some localized flooding. But of course we needed the rain because we are dealing with drought conditions, especially here on the plateau. All right, Matt, thank you so much.